All right, today we're gonna to be making a golf club speed training practice club. I'm gonna show you how we make it and then talk about why it's better than pretty much anything else out there. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So if you go looking around for speed trainers, things like that for golf, you're gonna find lots of options and I think plenty of them can actually help you get more speed, but they all pretty much have the same issue, which is pretty much none of them allow you to actually hit golf balls with them, right? Most of them look like some sort of fishing pole with a piece of fruit on the end or something like that, that yeah, it can help you work on your swing speed and get you faster, but it doesn't actually improve or show you if your swing is getting any better. That being, how's your contact? How's the ball flight? Are you able to actually hit the ball where you want it to go and not just swing hard and have it go anywhere? So that's what we're gonna be doing today is making a speed training club that you can actually hit, you can actually practice with, and you can actually get the feedback from it so you know exactly whether you've made a good swing or a bad swing. The other thing is, well, this is super, super cheap. Okay, so we're gonna need three things to put this club together. First is an old golf club. And when I say an old golf club, I just mean a golf club that you're no longer using. Now, personally, I think this probably works best with some sort of mid iron, call it like a six, seven, eight iron, somewhere in that range. You could use a nine or a wedge or something else, but I feel like those clubs are a little easier to hit and your misses are a little bit less apparent with a nine iron or something similar. Whereas with a six iron, if you miss it, it's pretty obvious. So the feedback is better, I think, uh, using a little bit longer iron. But you could also do this with a wood. You could do it with a driver or a fairway wood if you wanted to kind of work on those swings a little bit more. So that would be another option, but an old golf club. Second thing you're gonna need is a rubber molded practice or training grip. Now these grips have been around a really long time. They look like this. They've been around for years and years and years. You can find them any number of places. I got a pair of these off Amazon for like $16 for two. So $8 a piece, very inexpensive. And this is just a grip that you install like any other grip. I would recommend doing this with tape and solvent. I would not try and use compressed air on this grip. It's a little awkward to get on, so it's not quite as easy. Uh, so I'd recommend just good old tape and solvent to put this on. So you're gonna need one of these, and last thing you're gonna need is a roll of lead tape. Okay, so step number one, we're gonna be taking off the old grip on whatever club you're gonna use and installing this grip. Again, just like any other regular rubber grip we're gonna install with tape and solvent. Only thing to really be aware of with this is depending on if you have a stronger grip or a weaker grip, you may want to adjust the alignment on it a little bit to make sure that when you take your comfortable grip the face is still square to your target so that you haven't inadvertently, you know, overclosed or opened the face of the club based on how you installed this grip. So put the grip on and while it's still wet, make sure when you hold it and it feels comfortable that the face is square and not open or closed. Now why we're using a practice grip like this, again, one is that it helps you consistently get your hands on the club the same way every time. The other reason is that this grip actually weighs a lot more than a traditional grip. It weighs about 30 grams more than a traditional grip. So it's quite a bit heavier, and we're gonna be using that added weight to help with the strength training element or the speed element of this club. What that means is, and this is where the lead tape comes in, after we put this grip on, we're gonna to wanna to add some weight to the head to kind of balance it back out. Now, what I ended up doing with my club here is again, this grip is 30 grams heavier than a standard grip. I ended up putting on an extra 20 grams of lead tape onto the back, right there where the cavity is on the back of the head, a little bit more out towards the toe, but put 20 extra grams in there. So we now have this golf club weighing an extra 50 grams. Now, yes, you could easily add more weight than that if you wanted and really put a lot of extra weight onto the head. But what I really want here is a club that it may feel heavier, but it doesn't feel weirdly heavy like it's not a golf club anymore. I wanted to make sure that it still feels, it still swings like a golf club, just a little bit heavier golf club. So 
extra 30 grams in the grip, extra 20 grams in the head, gives me that kind of balance where it definitely feels heavier. I definitely notice the extra weight, but I don't feel like I have to do anything different to actually swing it. All right, we're gonna try this club out now. I'm gonna start off just hitting a few shots with my regular six iron, standard weight, and then we'll move into that practice speed training club, see how it feels. Now I'm starting to get warmed up. <laughs> that was pretty good. Now I've probably hit, uh, how many shots have I hit now? Nine, 10. Okay, so I've hit 10 balls now and feel fine. Don't really notice like I've done anything different than usual. So now let's switch this out for the new practice speed training club. Now when I pick up this club, and just kind of waggle it around. It definitely feels heavily, heavier. It's definitely got more weight to it. But at the same time, it doesn't feel unusual or weird like it's not a golf club. It still feels like a golf club. It just feels like a heavier golf club. So we're going to see what we get out of it. I do really like this grip. I think this training grip is really nice because it definitely lets you know immediately that if nothing else, at least your grip is right. That was hit pretty solid right there. Not really a big surprise that it would trail off a little bit to the right, just being that the club is so heavy, I think it's probably a little bit harder to get the face square. That doesn't really concern me so much. That one felt really good right there. Now also, we wouldn't expect this club to go nearly as far as our regular six iron because again, all that extra weight. Now that was definitely off the toe a little bit. Not as good of a swing. That was better. Turned it over a little bit more there. Whew. I tell you what, if you don't think that 50 extra grams makes a difference, I can definitely feel those 50 extra grams when I'm swinging it. Swinging this club four times versus swinging my regular six iron 10 times, I'm more tired after swinging this one four times. And again, though, the most important thing I really think with this is the fact that you actually are hitting the ball so you can one, see the ball flight, and two, you can feel how you're making contact. Are you hitting it solid? If you're just swinging one of these swing training things where you don't actually make contact with a ball, then how do you know if your swing is good, bad, or indifferent? You have no idea. Yeah, it may be faster, but that doesn't mean you're actually making good contact. With this, you're actually hitting the ball with an actual club, and you know instantly, yes, I made a good swing, that felt good, or no, I didn't make a good swing, and I can see it or I can feel it, it wasn't good. Let's hit a few more before I need a nap. Again, all together, we've put about Heck, call it generously $10 into this club between the grip and the lead tape. Oh, that was nice right there. That felt really good. And I can, again, definitely feel it just from swinging it these one, two, three, four, five times. I am way more tired than I was with my regular club. So. I think this can only be helping with my speed, with my strength, with my overall golf endurance to be swinging this club. Oh no, that one was terrible. That's not the one we're ending on. All right, let's try one more. Again, that right there, if I was just swinging some swing trainer and not hitting a ball, I wouldn't have any idea if that swing was good or bad, but you figure it out real quick when the ball looks like that and feels like that. All right, one more good one. I managed to actually close the face on that one. Whew. I am not kidding. That is definitely a lot more work swinging this club. 
I think if I swung this club 10 minutes a day, every day hitting some balls with it, this would definitely get me in better golf shape. So there you go. Again, using an existing club, you already have a mid iron or something like that. Again, you could do this with a driver or a fairway wood as well. Heavier molded practice grip runs about eight bucks on this side and about 20 grams of lead tape, give or take. Again, adjust it, see how it feels for you, but some extra weight on the head and just go start hitting balls. And you're not only going to feel that extra weight and hopefully get some more strength, get some more speed from it, but you're going to get that instant feedback. You're going to know immediately that you either made a good swing or you didn't. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, please go down below, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. You know what to do. And I will see you on the next video. I'm going to go sit down, get something to drink. <laughs>